30 days to go for that big exam for which you all are preparing and working really really hard since months or even years one month left what should be the plan what should be the strategy now so that you can give your best in this very very important exam of your lives so today i am here with you dr himani joshi your original guru for oral and maxillofacial surgery from dbmc imds telling you about this 30 day preparation strategy for neat 2024 now when i talk about strategy i have to deal with two types of students all right there are two types of students who are preparing right now student 1 it's that student and it can be you who has dedicatedly focused way who has made a timetable who has done the first revision the second revision the third revision who is sticking to the timetable who did not falter who's really worked hard all this time and is still following the schedule which he or she has made for himself okay so the first student is a student who is following the timetable according to this timetable you have already done your third revision in january now feb and march all you have to do is a superficial fourth revision and a brush up so for the first student my advice would be stay undisturbed you know that flower which you can see here that's about to bloom you have worked really hard and you can see the other side vaguely you know there is there is some vagueness because obviously the exam is not over but you are happy with your preparation it is the student one are all those students who are confident who are happy with their preparations for you guys the strategy would be stay undisturbed nothing can disturb your peace of mind unless you allow it to do it this is the last minute this is the last moment there will be a lot of distractions lot of physical distractions lot of emotional distractions lot of mental distractions but you guys have to stand straight just continue the way you have been doing your strategy remains unchanged you have to finish your fourth revision by like from 1st feb to 8th march whatever timetable you have made for yourselves you have to stick to that timetable you have to continue the same thing without getting tired i know you guys will not get tired because you've already done your revisions very nicely you are on your track you are confident and you will also be happy at this point so you are seeing that flower about to bloom just stay undisturbed don't let anything don't go and eat out don't go and roam about on a bike so that you catch some cold just stay safe stay undisturbed complete your revisions from 1st to 8th march that is it i will come to your strategy very very soon the other kind of student is my dear student number 2 you have worked hard but you have made certain you know you have been a little lazy somewhere you are on your second revision or you are on your third revision but you have some subjects pending you have some questions pending some papers mending you think your mind is too small to fit all the 19 subjects yes the mind is too small but the dream can still be big you still have enough time to dream big to get through into your college into your branch of choice just by doing a smart strategy in these last 30 days all right so what i would want to tell you is don't stop believing in yourself don't this is not the time to stop believing in yourself start believing in your preparations you might not be confident still start believing that whatever you will do will give fruit results good fruits 
बी ऑप्टिमिस्टिक बी वेरी वेरी पॉजिटिव एंड कंटिन्यू विद योर प्रेपरेशन सो सेट पीस ऑफ माइंड एज द हाइएस्ट गोल शांति रखो दैट इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग आई वॉन्ट ऑल इफ यू टू डू स्टे काम वेदर यू आर स्टूडेंट वन वेदर यू आर स्टूडेंट टू इस पॉइंट पे आके वी डोंट वॉन्ट टू क्रैश so peace of mind should be your top most priority and organize everything in your life around peace of mind 4 ghante padh liya nahi padhna aadhe ghante ke liye uth jao but 4 ghante padh ke hi utho theek hai take small breaks it is okay but finish whatever time tables whatever schedules you have made for yourselves all right so coming to the strategy per se for student number 1 Who is my rank aspirant? Okay. Those who consider themselves under the student one category, you guys are now fighting for a rank. You will be selected. You will be getting a government college. You will be getting a branch of your choice. But you want everything. You want a rank now. You want to be in the top fifty. You want to be in the top ten. You want to be in the top three. so you are the rank aspirant start thinking like a ranker all right for you your third revision is already completed in january your fourth revision which you are doing with the final lap which is the best way to practice your mcqs your clinical questions you are already doing the final lap and you will be finishing your final lap schedules by say 8th march your last brush up will be in the last 10 days of march that is 9 to say 17 march okay or 8 to 17 march for that matter your last 10 days will be your brush up till that time continue finishing your fourth revision and in your fourth revision what should be your focus three things pyqs practice doing as many pyqs from your gts from your pyq full papers recall papers from whatever books that you have done so pyqs remember is the most important source for you right now second whatever hand notes slips sticky notes charts that you have made for yourselves these are the things that you have made after a lot of hard work these are the things that you probably are forgetting okay factual things you have already made your charts you have already made your notes these are the facts which have high probability of coming in the exam one revision two revision is as good as zero revision so don't stop at two revisions don't think that they are so lengthy notes there are so many charts i will not revise them no these are your most important facts that you yourself have collected so don't be lazy in revising these hand notes please revise these hand notes very very nicely all right in these hand notes you have to give equal importance to part a and part b equal importance you are fighting for a rank okay your part b will decide whether you will get uh, uh you know whether you will be eliminated from the exam or whether you will be in but your part a will decide your rank so give equal weightage to part a subjects and part b subjects your clinical sciences is very very important it is 140 out of 2 240 questions is your clinical sciences but the 100 out of 240 questions in part a will be the ones which will decide your rank so don't think biochemistry or dadh or materials or medicine or surgery is not important or less important give equal weightage to part a and part b and that will actually create the dream that you are dreaming convert you from an aspirant to a ranker 
so this is the strategy for the student number 1 who is on track who is doing the revisions and this is the last leg that he has to follow for my student number 2 you don't have time maybe you have missed a few days maybe you have a few days less than the uh, other friends for you it is more about selection it is more about getting selected that is the getting a qualifying score after you have got a qualifying score getting a score which will give you a government college seat after you qualify for a government college seat it should be the branch of your choice if this is your dream if this is what you are looking for <coughs> excuse me you have to divide your 30 days into 25 plus 5 you have to divide your 30 days into the first 25 days and the last 5 days what you will do in the 25 days if you have to start from now if you have to start from today how will you distribute your subjects you will give more weightage to part b than part a okay your part b will have more weightage than your part a subjects because they have one quality questions against 100 questions you are more confident in part b so very smartly you should give more time and more attention to the part b subjects how you can do that so i have made this 25 day time table for all of you one day for anatomy one day for physio biochem combined one day for patho micro combined because anatomy will have 14 physio and biochem will have seven each patho micro will have seven each everything will have 14 except medicine surgery which are 15 each so one one day for all the basic sciences subjects and two days for the clinical subjects okay what are you going to do in these days you are going to do the pyqs like the student one is doing that is the most important part of your preparation you will do more clinical questions how can you get access to clinical questions the final lap is going on where we are discussing only and only clinical and image based questions it's a very good strategy you can go and watch the final lap where every subject clinical questions are being discussed you will give more weightage to part b as compared to part a so in 25 days you will do your subject brush up you will read your subject from whatever notes whatever questions that you have bookmarked that okay in anatomy i am forgetting these questions i will only revise the questions that i am forgetting in physiology these are the questions in medicine these are the questions in ortho these are the questions so you brush up all the questions that you are forgetting you give more weightage to the previous year questions and how you do the previous year questions go retrograde do the 23 paper first followed by the 22 paper followed by 21 followed by 20 do as many as you can till the 10 year papers if you can do only 5 years do 5 year papers but do it at least 3 times do it nicely if you are doing 10 year papers do it 3 times because unless you do anything 3 times it's of no use so if you have done it previously very good if you have not done it do it now pyq is the most 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 important thing all right and for both of you for both student 1 and student 2 it's a game of patience yeah. it's all about who keep patience in the calm it is 30 days for everybody even for the one who is not going to qualify in the exam he also has 30 days and for the one who is going to get first rank in the exam he also has 30 days everybody is in the same boat it's how you sail your boat it's not about who waited it's about how you waited it's about how you spent your 30 days is what will make you a ranker all right so follow these tips for the best advantage of the last 30 days of your preparation i wish all the very best to all the aspirants i know you are working really hard it's a definite test of patience neat is not just a test of mcqs it's really a test of character it's a test of patience and i really pray to god that all of you win this 
race, win this so-called war, win this situation and come out emerging as a strong person, as a happy person. All the best to all of you.